Hello, sir. Okay, uh, I made a search. Okay, and want to look for a person who would be coming with a work permit. Yes, sir. And as is a visa and everything, they need the proof of employment. Uh, they need the. I have the name of the form here. Uh, they need a copy of your employer's positive labor market impact assessment. So, and uh, LMIA uh, to allow you in. But sir, uh, I'm on. Ju I just uh, started my work permit. I got my work permit on December. On this December, I just got my work permit. So uh, I don't have any uh, job right now. So when I co come back to Canada, I will yes. search for it. Okay, but uh, uh, what I see here, they would not let you in. Uh, you need to have already an employer to be allowed in. Okay, sir. Just like I uh, told you that I have su suffered already a lot due to like I uh, I spent one and a half year here. So uh, the employer of my uh, the the employer of the factory that I I was they fired me because I didn't show up over there for last one and a half year due to the COVID. So they fired me. So I don't have any employment letter from them. So what can I do? I have my work permit, I have my visa, and I have every document. Just I don't have any uh, and a single employment letter. Okay, uh, I would maybe suggest you to make a search for an employer uh, from your place and see if somebody is ready to hire. They must have lists at, at immigration of the employer that would need uh, employees. So if it is, it seems to have. Uh, a website where you have all the person who are on work permit they are looking for jobs so that the employer can give you a, a market impact assessment and hire you. So I would assume that there must be a registry of the employers where you can uh, send your, your information and see if they want to hire. Yeah, sir. But sir, uh, I'm not coming to, it's to the first time. Just like I have my all my stuff over there, I already have my uh, my friends over there. So they they all they already worked over there. So it it doesn't work like if I come to Canada and start working over there, then I show up because uh, it's impossible to get the employment letter from here. The every company they demand, they said uh, you must work here before. Then we only give you work, work employment letter. So we they didn't offer me employment letter before before work. That's the main issue I'm facing because I already spent one and a half year here in India due to the COVID. I don't want to spend more time here. So that's why I I am uh, staying. I understand. It's just that if if you ask me if they're gonna let you in if you come to Canada right now, when I look at the procedures for a person under work permit, yes, uh, you need to have a proof of employment. So with what I read here, uh, they would turn you back if you come in. Yeah, that's that's what I have to confirm from from you that uh, I I don't have any like letter now that what if they give me some time so I will show up in like uh, two three weeks I will show back it depends upon you guys okay, I well, I already talked to the when immigration I here, when I, I look at your situation yeah uh, the the answer is that they won't let you come in. So, I mean, they, they would refuse your entry. Yeah, but I already talked to the immigration, but they told me they don't have any problem. The thing is that the main problem is that the, the border security won't allow me because they will see, they, they, will, they want the employment letter. And the immigration, they told me that if, if somebody asks you that they will allow you to come, then you can show up to them after like uh, after one after one month you can show them the employment letter or after or you that you do work over there so that's i am hoping that uh, if they accept me like i i i have i i, I already before this i also work over there 
like on study permit i do a part time job over there also that's what i have it's just that when i look at the requirements i mean the letter of employment is required for the entry so i i don't see how they would accept to allow you in without the letter and then give you one month to provide them with the employment letter uh, it's not what i have here so i mean uh, procedure wise when i look at the what i have on my books uh, they would not allow the entry so uh, that's why i'm telling you this i mean you you can try it but with what i see here they would deny the entry yeah i want i i just want to confirm first because uh one of my friend also went to the uh canada uh, in march in the recently march but he didn't show up anything because he didn't ask anything for related to work because sometime happens like when we first time apply for, uh, work permit for from india it's very difficult to find a job from india for canada so what happens so uh, we will come to canada and uh, search for job and then we will become settled over there okay. that's what it, it could be an option but when i i see it was is written by procedures it's not what i see uh, they they state that the proof of employment is not necessary to get the entry i i i cannot confirm that they will allow it without it without the letter okay with what i say i cannot confirm it to you So I mean, if you want to try it, because you say in some cases uh, from India it's difficult to get the employment letter in advance, they have to write you to get it a month after. I mean, try it. But what I so they won't they won't allow me to come. With what I see in the procedures, they're not supposed to allow you to come if you don't have the employment letter in hand when you're coming uh, at the airport. Yeah, but but if you say they're doing otherwise, I mean it's not what's good in my procedures. Yeah, uh, but that guy, uh, that guy told me that if CBSE allows you to enter, then nobody will stop you. They asked me that uh, if you uh, talk to the guy, to the customer uh, officer, if they told you that you can enter, if you are facing some problems due to the COVID, they if you enter. they will they they told you that you can enter and show up to them after like one month and they say that yeah you can come and show show the letter show the work to them after one month they will allow you that's why i am calling you that if you allow me to enter to the canada and i will i will show you work like after one month just like the employment yeah, telling uh I don't have this in my procedures I cannot confirm that that that's the problem we have I I look at the procedure for a person entering with a temporary work permit and they need the letter of the employer I mean it's mandatory in my procedures uh, the only thing that I think that could happen is if the border officer decide to act with his mandatory uh powers you could but i mean it's not something i will be able to confirm you because i won't be the one authorizing your entry uh, when you'll do it so i cannot take the power of somebody else and say you over the phone it's okay yeah so i will so how i will get the employment letter because it it's like impossible to get the work per- employment letter from here i already contact many companies they told me that if you work here then we will arrange the work work letter for you but you didn't work here so we are not we are unable so when you work here so you got experience then we only provide you the work uh, employment letter then how will get the i i, I will get entry to canada the, the only thing i would see is to get an authorization from immigration that immigration will say uh, the guy will provide you with the uh, employer letter a month after his entry and then we would accept it because we have a document from immigration so if i'm if, if immigration asked me that i don't need a 
employment letter then you guys will allow me yes we will allow you when and wake up out for you to provide us with the letter i mean if immigration gives you an authorization to come in okay we will authorize the authorization, the authorization from, to travel from immigration okay it means if we if i the work from yeah, if, yeah sir if i told this situation to the immigration and they told me that okay you have you are already facing many problems so we are allowing you to come canada without uh, without employment letter then you guys uh, won't have any problem if you can give us a letter stating that we won't have any problem no. okay sir uh, can i get the recording number for this call i don't have the recording number here I don't know one of my friend told me that if you call the CBSE they they give you the they give you the recording number so it will